the Mountain. Welcome back to King of the Mountain, Season 4, Tournament 1, Qualifying Race 13. Tonight we have our first Corvette of the season. Sweet. But first up, he's back. It's Mark D. That's right, Mark D, the current season record holder, is back. He set the fastest time for the season so far in his Mustang, but he failed to qualify. Now he's back with his DMC DeLorean to try again. Well, he's got a much better car now. Then up next we have Mr. K. Mr. K driving in the blue Ford Thunderbird. He comes from Sterling Heights, Michigan, and is driving for the Blazing Diamonds 164th Racing Team. Our next driver, representing for all the baby daddies out there, it's Trevor Brown. Trevor Brown driving for the Baby Daddies Racing Team. He'll be racing in a Porsche 930 Turbo. He needs a little paintwork on the front there. I do like the graphics on the hood. And finally, our last driver in the Chevy Corvette C4, it's Dax Quaid driving for the DXP Racing Team. Okay, first of all, Dax Quaid is an awesome name, but why is that car so dirty? I think that's just how Dax Quaid rolls. Okay, it seems kind of cool when you say it like that. Here we go with the first of four races. Top driver in points advances on to King of the Mountain tournament number one. Mark D in the Golden DeLorean starting on the inside lane. Mr. K in the front on the outside. Trevor Brown in the white Porsche currently in second place behind Mark D. A lot of pushing and shoving there. Mark D is really moving out there. Look how fast he's going. Wow, he's flying. Look how straight he's going. Mark D all by himself here. Straight as an arrow to the finish line. Whoa! 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 No way! What? Do you see that time? Wow! We've got a new record! Sub 14 second time, 3D. Whoa. A sub 14 second I, time. I didn't know if we'd ever see a time below 14 seconds. Mark D just broke his own record time. He was the current record holder. Now he broke his own time. That's crazy. I did not think we would see anyone break his first time that he set in the Mustang. What was it? 14, 1196. Then he shows up in a golden DeLorean and gets a 13.8294. Mark D has King of the Mountain written all over him. Looking at the replay, Trevor Brown started getting off the road, bounced into the front entrance of the garage. Dax Quay with a nice maneuver, avoiding impact. And there goes Mr. K rolling through demo derby style. If you're going to hit someone, back up into him. Did you learn that at the Crazy Jimmy School of Driving? Yes, I'm taking online night courses. It's online. Can't you do it anytime? No, just at night. Well, that was sure an exciting start. Here we go with race two. This time, Mr. K has the pole position. Dax Quaid on his outside in the light blue Corvette. Dax Quaid in the Corvette. It sounds so cool. Mr. K has the lead, followed by Mark D. Mark D closing in. He got him. Mark D with the overtake on the inside. They're through the final turn. And that will be the second win in a row for Mark D. Mark D is a beast. Mark D taking this qualifying race very serious. He does not want to leave anything up to chance. And right now he has a five point lead over the competition. Speaking of leaving things up, there goes Trevor Brown with two of his tires raised to the sky. Not a good night so far for Trevor Brown. Let's see that pass again by Mark D. Saw that opening went on the inside. Look at how he cuts to the left to block Mr. K. And then it was all open lanes from there to the finish line. Listen, we all knew Mark D was a good driver. All he needed was a good car. The DeLorean is clearly that car. The DeLorean was kind of known for being unreliable. Listen, if that car could take Marty McFly back in time so he could try to date his mom and then forward into the future while still being called back to the future, it's good enough for Mark D. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Here we go with race three, Dax Quaid in the pole position. Dax Quaid has the pole. Oh yeah. It's so cool. You and names. It's an awesome name. Dax Quaid in the lead. Mark D overtakes Trevor Brown on the turn. Mark D is all about business tonight. Dax Quaid still has a nice lead here. Whoa! Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, oh my ouch. good lord. Damn. Damn! Dax Quaid just got pummeled. Who put the hit out on Dax Quaid? Look at that. Mark D's still going. Oh, you can't stop Mark D. This right here will be Mark D's third win in a row. Amazing. That means he now has 15 points, a DNF for all three other drivers. That gives Mark D a 10-point lead over Dax Quaid and Mr. K. Yeah, this race is already over. Mark D is moving on. But with three wins in a row, you know what that means. Mark D may be our first driver of the season to get a perfect score. Ooh, look at that hit. Dax Quaid getting caught between a light post and a DeLorean. Then he goes flying into the ticket machine and ends up upside down in the parking garage. We got to see that one again. Watch that Corvette go to the moon right here. Oh, wow. That thing flipped way up in the air. Good thing that wasn't a convertible. Here's hit two from Trevor Brown. And then to finish things off, Mr. K. Mr. K with the kill shot. Bam. 
Emergency crews are on their way to the site of the crash. Oh, come on. Well, they made it. Who hired those guys? They must be non-union. Well, at least they're fast. Although now one car is on top of the other, which makes things worse. Let's have one more look from the garage cam. I think this right here is probably going to be in the top 10 worst wrecks of this season. It's a pretty big wreck. That is three races down, one final race to go. Mark D will be advancing, but the question is, can he get a clean sweep? Also, look at that Trevor Brown on the verge of getting a reverse clean sweep by never making it past the finish line. Well, this last race may set two new records for the season. And with the track record by Mark D, that'll be three for the night. Trevor Brown in the lead. Contact around the turn. They're fighting for it. They're all bunched up here. Oh! Mark D gets spun around along with Trevor Brown. Dax Quaid has the lead. Watch out for those light posts. Quaid through the final turn with Mr. K in second place. And Dax Quaid will sloppily pass the finish line to take the win on the last race. Ah, uh, no clean sweep. What the? Ha <laughs> Mark D just told those losers to get out the way and make room for a real champion. We may just be looking at the future king of the mountain. Hey, he qualified and he's the current record holder. Mark D is what we like to call in the business, the man. The man, that's a technical term. Absolutely. Well, this was a pretty crazy finish. Mark D got forced into the guardrail along with Trevor Brown. And hey, good on Trevor Brown for making it past the finish line at least one time. Sometimes it's good to celebrate small accomplishments. Good job, Trevor. Way to go. Good job. Nice. Mark D will advance on to King of the Mountain Season 4, Tournament Number 1. He is currently qualified in first place with a track time of 13.8294 seconds. How does one guy have the two fastest times? It's crazy. Mark D put an Australia on top of the board. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. We hope you enjoyed tonight's race. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm Dax2D Quaid. No, he's not, but you are watching King, King of, of the, the Mountain. mountain.